Right, so I'm recording this video from my phone and not doing screen capture because I need to demonstrate what the issue is and how to fix it. So recording it through the camera is probably the best way to do this. Um, so just to preface on what the issue is, if you've got a USB DAC, uh, it doesn't matter, really matter what it is, topping, fire, luck sign, anything really. If you're not using the USB driver that came with the DAC, from their manufacturer's website, then you probably want to install that. So in my case, uh, I've installed the Eversolo USB driver because I've got a Luxine uh, amplified slash DAC that uses the Eversolo driver. And for my K13 R2R, a review of that in the description below, by the way, I'm using the Fire driver and that's the latest version, which is 5.74. So I'm just going to open those up quickly just so I can show you whilst I talk about the issue itself. And I'll just leave those there for the time being. Now, what the issue is, is whenever a piece of audio, it doesn't really matter if it's a long audio or a short little notification tone, the first section of it, just the immediate front section of that audio will be clipped off because there's a delay between that audio happening on the operating system side, it doesn't matter if it's Windows or Linux, this has all been tested with the help of some forum members, um, that audio plays on the operating system, the operating system sends it to the DAC, and then there's a bit of a delay on the DAC before it goes to your speakers or headphones, and then you hear basically just the rest of the audio, just not that first part of the um, of the sound. So what I'm going to do to demonstrate it, and you can probably replicate this, or you definitely can replicate this on your own systems as well, if you're using a USB DAG on your computer. So the best way to do it is to use the screenshot tool. So I've mapped it to my keyboard button there. So all I'm going to do is press the screenshot button and then outline to create a screenshot. And just look at the bottom right of the screen for the toast notification that pops up and then listen for the audio. So did you see that? The toast came first and there was a delay and then the audio played and that first part of the audio was clipped off. So it's like as if it was cropped off or trimmed. So I'll do it again. So I'm going to do another screenshot and then just keep an eye on the bottom right and listen for the audio. There you go. So it was just clipped off. What it should sound like is if you are playing any other video or any other audio, or you play the sound again immediately after the previous one that was clipped, then there's no issue, it comes on immediately. So it's like some kind of delay or buffer. And then if there's idle time for a few seconds, then the DAC goes to sleep or the connection to the DAC goes to sleep and it needs to wake up. And that waking up process takes time, hence the delay, hence the clipping of that first part of the sound. So let's just do two successive screenshots quickly. There you go. So the second one there played immediately and you got the full tone of that bong that Windows makes when you create a screenshot. Now I'm using the screenshot as an example because it's an easily doable thing quickly and you can repeat it as well. So how do we fix this? So what you've got to do is install the driver from the manufacturer and you can see there I've got the Eversolo driver for my Luxine DAC and I've got the Fire one open as well. Now You'll notice a couple of differences where on the Fire one, we have an additional tab called Options, which you don't have on the Eversolo one. Now, on my Eversolo DAC, the Luxine X9, I never had that delay issue. So for as long as I can remember, even since day one, that delay was not there. And that was quite curious. And what one member, Timber, of the OCUK forums pointed out was on his one, he changed this value on his Fire K7 DAC driver. Now, by default, this value is set to on when needed. What you need to do is set it to always on. And now, if I do a screenshot, the sound is there immediately and there's no delay. And you can do that as many times as you want. It's fixed. So what the Eversolo driver is doing is having that set to always on by default. And it's internally set by default. So there's no even the options tab to change it. So it's always on, which explains why the X9 never had the issue. 
and all other DAX toppings and so on, they do have that option there. And it's on, it's set to on when needed by default. So you do need to go in here and change that. And that does mean installing the driver, even if you're not gonna use ASIO or if you're not gonna use the driver, the Microsoft driver by default does not give you this kind of control panel. So you do need to go in and set that option there. So it's a really quick and easy fix. Just go to your manufacturer's website, download the driver, run the control panel, and that's it. And that will solve the audio delay issue with uh, USB DAX. Thanks for watching.